Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and integrate your MetaMask and potentially other wallets to Rabi Wallet. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first off, we're going to go here and we're going to search for how is it? Rabby Wallet. So it's R A B B Y Wallet. It is going to show us Rabby Wallet at the top. It is all this pretty lilac purple color. So that's how you know you're on the right one. Although I don't know of any other um, Rabby Wallet. So you would download for Chrome. And this is my secondary Gmail account. So I don't have, I have my dummy. MetaMask set up here, add to Chrome, it says it can read and change all my data. It's always scary, but I guess it's quite standard. So you'll say add extension and it's been added to Chrome. All right, great. So what we will want to do is press this little icon at the top. Can you see my screen? And we're going to pin it. So you see Rabi Wallet right here where my cursor is? We're going to pin it and now we'll always see it up on the my battery's low on the browser all right so now that we have it we are going to be prompted to set up an account so we're going to go ahead and follow the prompts next it's self-custodial it says private keys are stored locally with sole access to you or only access to you then it says add an address so i believe rabbi wallet as it just said is just local so it, you'll have a different password for like different devices um much like metamask actually you could have the same wallet um, same metamask wallet on your mobile device as on your desktop and they will require different passwords but okay so we will say um for the purpose of this video, we want to import because the whole benefit, the whole purpose behind using Rabi Wallet is that it's an aggregator. It combines um, all of your MetaMask wallets. What I'm unsure of is if you can use it to connect to your like Xverse, for instance, like your Bitcoin Ordinals wallet and your Solana wallet as you also have your MetaMask wallets connected. I don't know, so we'll find out. Um, we'll find out. So we're gonna add, it says, it will be used to unlock your wallet and encrypt local data. So it wants me to set a password. So remember to always save your password so, so safely, like in your safe. Um, there's also great tools I'll show you just very fast, very fast. Um, you want to be saving all your passwords into something called Bitwarden. It's like a password encryptor. Um, don't click on sponsored links. It's the easiest way to get hacked. Um, on the right hand corner, there's a little explanation of Bitwarden, but what Bitwarden is. It's a freemium open source password management service. It's like a vault, like a digital vault where you can save your passwords, your credit card information, any sensitive information, all your logins. I have like hundreds of accounts saved into my Bitwarden, which is awesome because you don't have to remember, you know, and you don't want to sync all your accounts up to your Google Gmail account either, because if your Gmail gets hacked, then you can assume all your apps that are linked to it get hacked as well. It's a bit off topic. I won't get into detail um, now, but this is what it looks like, Bitwarden. So it's not entirely recommended to save it in here, although it is encrypted, but I, I may, <laughs> let's put it that way. My password is extremely hard, so I don't think anyone could find it anyway. But this is where you can save your password. You, you can save everything here. Um, you can also just make a note. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to Rebby Wallet. And where are we? It's asking us, it was asking us to set up password so I'm gonna pick something uh, simple 
for now because this is a dummy wallet. I'm not actually going to ever put real money in here. So I set my password. Make sure it's not a password you use for your Gmail or any other account. It's so important to have good password like Etika or just like be smart about it because that's how hackers get you. If they can get one of your passwords, then they, they know most likely you're going to use the same password for other accounts. So, all right. So it says um, how to import my MetaMask wallet account. It says tips, your seed phrase private key does not belong to MetaMask or any specific wallet. It only belongs to you. So step one, export seed phrase or private key from MetaMask. If you don't know how to do this, you can click on their view tutorial and it'll show you how to do it. Um, basically you go to settings, right? Okay, so this is my dummy account. You click on these three little dots at the top right hand corner. You go to settings, leave. And then we are going to go to security and privacy and it's going to say reveal secret recovery phrase. Um, all right, so I'm going to go to, we're going to use our private key for the purpose of this video and then I'll move all my USDT off of here because you never know. So we copied it. So we go over to Rabi and we would go back to where we were. If you missed it, you just go to import my MetaMask account click on it. And then we're going to click on import private key. And then we're going to paste what we copied. Confirm. It says it's invalid. Let's go back. We're doing this real time, guys, because this might happen to you. So if it doesn't accept what you put in, go back. Oh, that was the wallet. <laughs> so it wants me to put in my password again because it's MetaMask. Put in our password again so we copy and paste our password again we confirm and then it's going to ask you to hold to reveal your private key so i'm going to press and hold and now i have my private key and once again i can show you this because this is a demo account so we would copy it which you do by pressing these little like two little boxes right here where my mouse is click done and then you go back to rabbi wallet and it says import private key and then we, import, we put our private key and we confirm and then we can name it so we would say this is from our our metamask wallet number one or you can name it investment wallet one or you can name it high risk investment wallet one or you can even put blue chip wallet investment wallet one this is for your purpose so you know which wallet is holding what type of assets so when you go to your rabbi wallet you just know right so we're going to call it blue chip investment wallet one click done and now it shows I've integrated with my wallet. As you can see up top, it shows which wallet I'm connected to. And I happen to have $69.11 worth in here. If we had other wallets synced up to it, we would, we would see them here. You can click on manage address. And here you can see the private key. Come back out. You can do swaps from here which network and this is what is so awesome is that they have everything so you would have literally all of your wallets so I happen to have a few just some from the past bull run some from this bull run I just I've just had a few for a few years now um, so this may or may not be relevant to you it just it's personal but what interests me 
So this is awesome if you have several MetaMask wallets and you just want to see it under one, like one easy interface, right? So you would have your NFTs here. I don't have any NFTs synced to this MetaMask wallet because it's my dummy MetaMask wallet, but you could send. It's all very easy, you know, from this chain, from this account, to this address, from this network, etc. You can gas top up so you can buy some more gas. I guess you can win some rabbi points. And you do it by doing all these things. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't have a referral code for you just yet, but if I do get one, I will add it here for the future. So I guess there's ways of earning rabbi points. This is where you can see your approvals, your pending approvals. I don't have any right now. What else? Super easy to use. But what I want to do is I want to learn how we can, like which other wallets we could integrate. So you could integrate safe. I know is a really awesome wallet. I want to look into for myself. And if I do and I like it, I will make a video for you. These are some other wallets it would integrate with. So Kobo Argus, Amber, Fireblocks is a good one. Jade Wallet, MPC Vault, Utila. And then you can connect to these other wallets as well. So like Coinbase, if you're in the States, Trust Wallet's a good one. It was one of my first wallets. Um, MetaMask Mobile as well, which is awesome. So you can get Rabi Wallet on mobile. Let's see if this is true. Do I have Rabi on my mobile? You guys, my phone, I'm gonna check for you guys right now if you can get Rabi Wallet on mobile. And yep, you sure can. Second option down. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Install, and then I'll sync it up. So isn't this pretty awesome? You can synchronize all your MetaMask wallets. You can use your BitGet wallet, Zerion wallet. Awesome. And this is very important. You can connect to your hardware or your cold storage wallets. And this is where you would save your Bitcoin, all of your pretty much. Well, you can save all of your tokens, but for practicality purposes, I would say you save the ones that are your long term hold, like holding positions and not things you're looking to trade right away, because things you're looking to trade right, right away, you want them available to trade right away. So, um, you could connect your ledger, your Trezor. These are the top two cold storage wallets. Um, yeah, I don't personally use any of the other ones. So let me know if you do and if you think they're good. But that's it, guys. That's how you integrate with your with Rabi wallet and connect your MetaMask to it. Quite straightforward. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you found it easy to follow. And um, yeah, I'll be back with some news later today. And I love you guys very much. And I'll see you guys here soon. I, I do tutorials, by the way, and the news. I do both. And um, yeah, just so no one gets confused. But anyway, love you. Ciao.